Hey guys, I'm Anish Patel from AndroidRoots.com and today we're going to go and take a look at Cyanogemod's 11 screencast app where you can go and record your actual screen device, your microphone, and the sound that comes out of the, your phone. Um, so if you're playing a game and there's you know sound effects and all that, you'll actually go and record that. The voice using the microphones at the top and bottom of your device. And just the screen, <laughs> you're just, just your phone screen. Um, so here's the app right here and I'm actually going to be showing you how to install at the end of the video. And and I'll actually tell you some of the problems and issues I ran into personally at the end of the video too. But let's go ahead and demonstrate this right away. Um, so here it is. I'm just going to tap on it. And you have two options to actually go and record this. One is actually tapping on the application and launching this. And just tap on uh, start screencast. Or the cooler way, which is uh, kind of harder and I don't always get it the first time, is pressing the volume up and power button at the same time. Kind of like uh, pressing the volume down and power to get uh, you know a screenshot. Volume up is um, screen cast and video recording uh, so it's going to tap on it's going to hold it down okay I didn't get it the first time let's try it again okay there we go I got it as you can see that little uh, video recorder did pop up at the top of the screen and as you can see it is recording right here so you can go and stop it or uh, show touches too and it gives you the video length it's been recording currently and the time of course when it started um, so let's go ahead and swipe it around and just see how well it does take it um, this is running on my Nexus 4 um, I tried installing my Galaxy S4, it didn't work. I'll tell you that in just a little bit about the, you know, what the issues and all that I've ran into. Um, but as you can see, there's no lag even though while it is recording at a pretty good frame rate, I gotta say, once you do get playback. Um, so let's go ahead and pause it or actually just stop it and let's go ahead and see the options. So you can go tap on share and you have all these options. Of course, if you had Facebook, Twitter or anything like that installed, you can go in ahead and select that too. Let's go and back out. And if you go and tap on it, you have the option to go ahead and just play back what you did record. Um, so we'll just use a standard video player to go ahead and try it out. And as you can see, uh, maybe, uh, let me go and uh, adjust the microphone actually. And let's go ahead and listen to it. So let me go and adjust that microphone and let's go and see it out. All right, so you guys did hear that the microphone was working, the actual um, screen was being shown up, and if you did play a game or anything like that, the actual sound uh, sound effects would actually uh, you would hear that too. A um, couple of issues I did run into was um, you whenever you're swiping your hands across the screen, is that the microphone, the top and bottom microphone, I believe they do pick up your finger sounds. Um, so that's a crazy thing. Um, I think the microphone sensitivity is way too high. They really, really need to lower that down as it can hear my fingers, me swiping just across the screen, which is crazy. Um, also, the microphone just could be adjusted too, just because my sound doesn't sound as good as it could be. Um, you know, I don't think it's the Nexus 4 microphones. Um, I just believe the microphone levels are a little bit too high, and that's pretty much it. Frame rate has, is pretty good. It's very smooth. Um, it doesn't lag at all, as you saw by me swiping around and all that. Of course, if you're playing an intensive game, you may see a little bit of lag and, you know, this frame rate drops. But overall, when I was showing you the quick demonstration, it worked just fine right there. Um, also another issue I had was I actually tried installing it on my um, Galaxy S4. Now it did install and yes I am running on CyanogenMod 11 on my Galaxy S4. Now it actually did install but after I finished recording a clip or my screen um, I tried playing it back but it didn't work. It said file could not be played back um, and I, I know I'm not the only one with this problem so I hope CyanogenMod 11 uh, hears this out and hopefully they do fix it. Um, this problem ha was a big problem since they first ever released it so hopefully they do fix it um, and this is a Samsung device you know Galaxy S4 but it works just fine with a, a you know a Google phone right here um, so maybe it's only working on a Google phone um, you know I really don't know but hopefully they do fix that problem so it works with all devices um, as long as they're running on Synergy Model 11 um, so let's go ahead and show you how to install it so first thing is we need to go ahead and go into settings, go all the way down to security right here, and then make sure unknown sources is checkmarked. And then once you're done with this, go ahead and download this one APK. 
Um, it's going to cancel that. Um, so right here, here's the APK that you need to go and download and transfer to your phone. So this is the com.sinonjama.screencast APK right here. Um, so I have a link down below where you can go and download this APK for your device. Um, <laughs> let me go and raise up that brightness. Looked a bit a little dark in the background um, right there. Um, so just go and download this link down below. Uh, download directly to your phone or transfer to your phone. And just tap on it. Uh, tap on install. It'll go and install, then you can go and tap on open it, and then you can go and record it. Um, one requirement is that you need to be running on Synology Model 11, nightlies or above. It could be stable or anything like that uh, to, in order to get Screencast working. Um, it's not going to work on just any random custom ROM or if you just root it or anything like that, even though this doesn't require root. Um, it's only going to work if you're running on Synology Mod 11 or above because they have these special, um, I believe they said binaries, um, I can't recall. But it has some special stuff in there that actually makes it work. So it's not going to work with any RAM. Trust me, <laughs> I tried it. Um, but that's a quick look, guys, at screencast video recording for your Android device. As long as you're running on Synology Mod 11 or above, you really, sh hopefully, you shouldn't run into any problems like I did with my Galaxy S4. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video review, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom left-hand corner right there. Link down below for the APK where you can go and install it for your Android device. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and my other social networks. Links are down below. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later. Peace.